Okay, hey guys, um, doing an update to the Dirty Harry Fly pattern. Um, it's still simple as ever, uh, super effective. I don't know that there's a fly in salt water that's more versatile uh, or effective um, or easy to tie. So basically I just tied in, these are medium barbell eyes, you can go uh, I tie them in all different weights for different situations. Um, some of them may have a little bit smaller eyes. This is a chartreuse version, chartreuse in white. It's pretty standard. Um, this is the root beer in orange, which is a uh, killer combination down here especially in any kind of water that's that's just a little bit uh, murky or stained or even on cloudy days um, but you can also tie them um, one of my favorites this year was uh, raspberry and orange the fish liked them too and of course uh, later in the year i i went to all white as the water cleared up and and even uh, throwing in a little bit of a little bit of pink in the spring and fall so basically what I'm doing here is just an update to the the original version I've changed some things to make it a little more durable um, a little more effective so barbell eyes go about two-thirds of the way back I have little plume of marabou feathers. Um, one thing you might notice is um, instead of a, a bump down here at the end, I almost have like a platform. It's, it's a it elongated bump. Um, so that I don't really want the tail to bump out this way because the fly rides upside down. So you really want the tail to go up in this direction so that it's most effective and attractive to the fish. So this elongated bump will uh, help us create a nice platform for all of our material here. And you'll see that in a minute. So I'm just gonna tie this marabou on here. Then I'm going to tie right down to the very end of that that little platform that I built. Come on back, and you can see it's it's pointing up. So that's that's the way you want your materials uh, to present as the fly rides on its on its back. Okay, we got some marabou first. Then we're just gonna take a little bit of this, uh, maybe six to eight strands of this rainbow flash. And like I said, this is gonna be a natural colored pattern. Um, trust me, the, the chartreuse is probably the most all around effective color if you're in doubt that's always a a good one to to start with so I'm just gonna tie this just kind of folded that flash around the thread and then again back to the very end of that little platform I built which keeps the materials pretty much pointing uh, up as the fly rides upside down from what you're seeing here. Okay, so next we're just gonna put in a, uh, we're gonna tie in our tail. And here's one of the, the big differences. I had, I had originally started with a longer tail and I, I was, uh, the instructions were to use a a width and a half of tail material. And uh, so I've since gone to one length 
um, still just as effective, way more durable, um, less chance of it wrapping around the fly. And this is ultra chenille. You, you, you have to use ultra chenille uh, for durability. And, and the width is very important too. It's called standard. And um, it's just right for the, just the right amount of durability and movement. Um, you'll notice I, I hit the edge with the lighter just to bind the end of it like that. And um, let's see, I think I'm gonna put, since this is an all natural version, I think I'm gonna put a tan tail on here. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm getting ready to go to the International Fly Tying Symposium in uh, Parsippany, New Jersey. So I'm, first time I've ever done anything like this. So I'm very excited to be at a table there, uh, meeting people and tying flies and and uh, having fun. So here's the tan. So I'm going to, again, I burnt the edge. Keep that uh, from unraveling. This goes right on top of the hook. Um, and again, I'm gonna wrap, start all the way down to the end of that platform so that so that the tail's sticking up a little bit, dangling in the in the face of any fish that might come across this fly. Okay, there's the tail. So I'm just gonna wrap back just above the tail. And then I'm gonna tie in the, the body material. Uh, let's see, what are we gonna use here? I'm actually gonna tie this one with, uh, instead of the Estaz, UV Estaz that I usually use um, in some of my larger, bulkier flies, uh, as the, like the Dirty Harry XL, I've been using this uh, UV Life Flex wrap. Really awesome material. Um, it's got, you, you know, it's got the UV flash kind of woven into it. Uh, super buoyant, so uh, it allows your fly to suspend in the water column. Again, giving the fish a longer period of time to respond to it and to eat it. Um, but the Estes is awesome too, uh, which is what I use for most flies. And so experiment, and this was actually one of my, uh, I'm a guide, one of my clients that I'd taken out was tying his, his own Dirty Harry's and, and recommended this and thank you. Um, what a great, what a great find this was. So I'm just gonna tie this, I peeled off the edge of the material just like you would with the Estes, um, revealing the, the thread core. And the thread core is what you wanna, you wanna tie in first. Then you just bring the thread all the way up to the very front. And now, you know, I do have a rotary vise I could spin this if I was tying, uh, you know, a hundred of them, I probably would, but I, I prefer to do one wrap at a time, the old fashioned way. And uh, get a nice tight wrap while pushing back on the, the rubber legs here or body material. And again, I, I wasn't really planning on making this video. I just, this is like a last second thing, but I really wanted to, to get the, the latest version out there because it is more durable. The extra flash, uh, the angle of the tail, the shortness of the tail uh, make this a lot more durable because I had people concerned that 
you know, the tail would get eaten after a couple of fish. And, um, of course, usually it was because they weren't using the, the ultra chenille, but this fly will do everything you need it to do. And this is just a little bit better version of it. Um, and of course you can, you can make this weedless if you like, never a bad idea. Um, this one, I'm not, I'm not going to make it weedless. Just going to whip finish. Okay, get that off. Put a little bit of UV resin or uh, loon resin on here. Just a little bit. You don't want to. Less is is more when you're when you're coating the head of a fly. Just because. Believe it or not, it's it's more durable. If you're just a one coat, it's more durable. If you want to do several coats, go ahead. But thin coats are the key. If you go on and put one big thick coat on there, it looks real pretty when it's done. But there's a better chance that that thing's going to chip off. It's kind of like when you're if you're painting something, uh, painting your boat or a house or whatever you're painting. Several thin coats will be way more durable than one thick coat. Okay, so there it is. That's how easy it is. Um, and then what I usually do is then I'll come in here and I'll flatten the top like that. Um, you can even go and hit this with a lighter and then press it down. Gives it a nice hard bottom and a nice uh, nice resting platform. Um, now you can fish this uh, as a shrimp pattern by jigging it and letting it drop slowly, longer, slower strips. Um, I fish it up on the flats like a crab. So I'll cast it out there, let it hit pretty much hit the bottom and then short hard strips through the grass um, or you can you know if you see bait fish busting you can just throw this sucker out there and just fish it like a bait fish you know strip fast two hands whatever you prefer so so that's it that's the newest version and it's um, simple I think we're over close to 60 different species caught on this fly I'm sure there's more. There's, I, I have people literally all over the, the world that, that are trying these out and catching, you know, anything from smallmouth bass to pompano to uh, you name it. But, so have fun with this. Um, I love seeing everybody's uh, tweaked versions of, some of them are better than mine. And um, great. Thank you. Have a good day.